Hey. I should have said we're on. It's Wednesday. Praise the Lord. It's Wednesday night. It's Wednesday. And we are ready to share in the word of God and celebrate. Yes. Celebrate this awesome life that we have in Jesus Christ, Amen. regardless, regardless of the circumstances. Yes. Regardless of the landscape. Yes. Regardless of the national, international, local Sorry. landscape, <laughs> we're still celebrating. Yes. Come on, somebody. The goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Yes. David said, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, on my, on. Side, my goodness. Ooh, I would have fainted had I not seen the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Amen. God knows how to show up right when you're about to faint. Hey. <laughs> God, I, I say that preaching stuff. God, 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 God is a God of Get me deliverance. Started. <laughs> he is a God of deliverance. Yes, sir. Deliverance means to rescue. He yes. is a God who rescues his own. Yes. He rescued us out of sin. He rescued us out of a poverty mindset, yes. out of a poverty spiritual state. Yes. And he has transferred us into the riches and the wealth of the kingdom of God, both in this world mm -hmm. and beyond. So you're blessed regardless. And at the end of the day, the battle was already won in Jesus' name. Ah! He paid for it all he on the cross the of Calvary. Come yes. on, somebody. So yes. you can rejoice in the cross of Calvary that Jesus has finished the work. Yes. And you know what I want to tell you? I can't wait till work. all this stuff is over. My, it's passed my, over. My, it's my, so, when it all my. passes over. Oh my God, I can't wait my, my, my. to see the, the, man, the manifold outcome, mm -hmm. the multiplied outcome mm -hmm. after this is all said and done. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Hey Robert, hey LeBerry, right. hey Cassandra. Yeah, good to see everybody. Hey, welcome, 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 welcome. Hello everybody, it's good to see you all tonight. Blessings and peace and grace and favor. Favor on you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Multiplied favor on your family, your finances, Amen. and on your life in Amen. the name of Jesus. I Amen. declare favor on you everywhere you go, people that you meet. I decree favor in relationships, favor in business deals, favor in your health, favor on your children, and on your family. Amen. Boy, in that's Jesus good right name, there. I decree that on you. I'm Hallelujah. telling you, it's just something about being able to receive that. Boy, mm. if you can just receive that. If we learn how to be receivers, Apostle, we'll make it into the end zone every time. Oh, come little on, bit somebody. Of football analogy yes. there. <laughs> Amen. If we can just be a receiver, right? Yes. You got to be at the spot. You yes. know anything about football? It's about being at the spot. Run your route, get to the spot, because that's where the quarterback is throwing Amen. the ball. You can't get out there and do your own thing because you're not going to be able to receive. You're going to miss it, Come right? On. You gotta be Come on, spot. you got to be in the spot Come so you on, can make somebody. it to the end zone. I just thought I'd add Come that. I just now. felt that, Come you know, on. a little and, bit when you see it. And when you're running <laughs> your route, you can't be anxious. Mm -hmm. You can't be worried about the defender mm -hmm. who is oppressing you and coming mm -hmm. against you. That's good. You got to be focused and know where to be, and you got to be confident in your quarterback. Come on. God is your quarterback. Uh -huh. And if you'll be confident, uh -huh. you won't even have to look up. You just extend your hands Come out. Come on. The blessing uh, of the Lord will be right there. He said hands out. Come on, For All of my people who were on, my, on the prayer call with me a little bit ago, hands out. Oh, my God. The Lord had me do that, Apostle. That Hallelujah. was good. Hey, oh, that was good. That's what the Apostle hmm. Paul told one of the New Testament churches. He said, I would that all men would praise God with uplifted hands in the sanctuary. Wow. Mm -hmm. That all men would praise God with uplifted hands wow. in the sanctuary. Sanctuary. Wow. I challenge you right now to wow. lift your hands up in the sanctuary that you have created hallelujah. right where you are and give God a Shabbat, hallelujah. a hallelujah, a total praise now, right now. there where you are. Glory, give him a praise glory, glory, for his glory, goodness glory, right glory, now. Glory. Amen. Oh my God. I want to add this because I feel like if I don't, I'm going to be struggling all night. Come when on. you were talking about the, we were talking about the past. Yeah. And having confidence in your quarterback. Yes. But you got to be confident also yeah. that you have the qualifications that are necessary to receive. Ooh. You are a child of the Most High God, oh God. Because the quarterback being God is not just throwing stuff to everybody. Come on, uh oh. Somebody. You got to be a king's kid. Come Amen. On, Hallelujah. Come on, so it, as long as you know you're a king's kid, you are qual that qualifies you. Mm. Or the catch. Well, you that know, qualifies you mm. to receive. Amen. Oh, definitely. Because the scripture says, those whom God predestined, uh -huh. 
he also called. Yes. And those he called, yes. he also qualified. Qualified. Those he qualified, mm -hmm. he also justified. Come on. And those he justified, he also glorified. So he's going to glorify you, meaning he's going to reward you. He's going to exalt you. He's giving you eternal rewards in heaven and in earth because he My predestined God. you. Mm -hmm. He foreknew you mm -hmm. from the foundations of the world. Mm -hmm. And he qualified you like he did Jeremiah to be a prophet, even as a young man. Come, Come on, on, somebody. Come on. Oh. See, that justified got me too because on, sometimes, you know, you know, people trying to figure out, well, why are you blessed? Why mm -hmm. Why is this happening? Why are you? Mm -hmm. I've, been mm -hmm. I've, been I've been justified. I've been justified. Oh, man. I, you, can't, you, can't, you can't hold me back based on my past. Ah, you got to let me. You gotta let me go. Woo! I felt that. You can't hold me back. You can't. He know my past. Ah! He knew my past before I had a past. My God. And he still justified me. Oh my goodness. People trying to figure out why certain folks are yeah. blessed. Or why is this happening in your life? Why? You know what? You gotta have that in your mind to say, you know what? God has already justified me. I have been justified through Jesus Christ. I don't have to explain to you why things are happening the way that they're happening. Come on. You better get on this blessed train and let's roll. Come That's on, what man. I'm saying. That, oh my goodness. That makes I, I, that I, makes justified. Sense. That's so good. I'm sorry. I can't help it. No, it, it makes justified. sense. Justified. Yeah. Justified. Oh my goodness. Come on. He qualified me. Yeah. He justified me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Boy, okay, I'm gonna act right tonight. Well, that, that, Jesus. that means that means you had a record, come, that, but, but he expunged it. Come on, come on, come, you he, were guilty. He expunged it. He cleaned everything off your record and he closed. It. He sealed your record. Yep. So that your past couldn't catch up with you. Oh, you got. You I just understand. said something that was good. So your past can't. That was good. Your that past was. cannot condemn you. Because oh, before the foundations of the world, he my had goodness. already saved you. Mm -hmm. So the mistakes you made when you got here don't count. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they don't count. They under the blood. Wow. Before I got here, he had already delivered me. He wow. had already saved me. I was predestined from the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. He already sent his son to die for the sins of man. See, that's so what I, I was already exonerated before I messed up. Come on. Right. My record was clean right. before I got a record. Okay. We're we going to act right tonight. That's good. Ooh. And we can't, live, we can't allow people to, to, to create a bondage for us to live in based on our past. Yeah. And I think the reason why this is coming up is because maybe somebody's watching or maybe somebody will watch that is experiencing that where somebody keeps bringing your past up, trying to beat you over your head with your past. And you have to tell them, you know what? Christ justified me. I am justified. Yeah. I am justified. I'm free of that. I'm not going to allow you to wrap me into that bondage and cause me to feel like I'm less than yeah. because of what was. I am a new creation. Yeah. I am a new creation in Christ Jesus. And we got to walk in that. Amen. You know, Pastor, at the same time, people are losing their joy. Yeah, for sure. They, they're losing their joy because of all the problems that's, that we see in front of us. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it would appear that God is gone. God's not mm -hmm. gone. God's mm -hmm. not gone. He's and not. Christians have to remember yeah. that in spite of, we should have a smile on our face. Amen. In spite of, mm -hmm. we should rejoice. Mm -hmm. In spite of, we should praise the Lord. In spite Amen. of, we should still wow. have hope and have confidence that mm -hmm. whatever God started before, before. the situation, Come on. he's the same God during it. Yes. He's the same God after it. My God. Come on, somebody. Man, every time. Yeah. Every time. And we have to, you know, it's so, it's so much, so important that we remember that in the hard times. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's so important that we remember the same God that brought us out before is going to bring us out again. Absolutely. And we have to hold on to that and really have hope in that. We talked about that on the, on yeah. the prayer call today too. Yeah. Just, and matter of fact, we just took a minute to give God praise. Just give him a praise for what he's already done. Give him a praise. Sometimes, and, and, and what the Lord spoke to me during that time, Apostle, was that I felt that there was somebody who felt either overwhelmed or burdened with something, mm. and that praise was going to be their breakthrough. Mm. Because oftentimes, when you give God a praise mm. right in the middle of when you want to have a, a meltdown or a breakdown, your situation won't change, but God will change you in your situation. Yeah. Praising God in trouble is an amazing, amazing, yeah. conquering thing to do. Yeah. 
because it takes that weight off because now your focus is not on what you're going through. It's on the one who's going to bring you out. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. remembering what he's already done. Oh, giving yeah. him praise for what he's already done. Mm. If you could, if you trusted him before, and I like to say how we, we didn't even trust him and he brought us out of some stuff. Mm. Before we knew him, he chose us. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Before we were even able to love him, he loved us. Yeah. How much more faithful now that we love him, now that we know him, now that we're on his side, will he not pull us out of stuff yeah. that we find ourselves in? Yeah. Amen. Yeah, oh, absolutely. You know? What do we do with the passage of scripture in James that said, count it all joy Come when on. you fall? Into. That means suddenly when yeah. you fall into diverse temptation. Yeah. That means what do you do when you're suddenly overtaken with a bunch of challenges and a bunch of troubles Come and on, a lot of pain God. and confusion, mm -hmm. just like what we see mm -hmm. on the, in the landscape of our day and time. Yeah. Well, James says, count that all joy. Oh, joy. God is working on you in that process. He's building character, maturity, faith, <laughs> hope, <laughs> confidence, <laughs> knowledge. He's building you yeah. up so that after the storm passed, hallelujah, you'll be ready for the assignment. You'll Come be on. ready for the reward. You'll be ready for what God has in store for your life. Yes. So in the downtime, bloom where you planted. Bloom in the dark. Oh Germinate. My feed, feed off the word of God, the power of God, the spirit of God when you're down so that when wow. you get up, you're stronger, taller, wow. better, Come more on. faithful, more believing, and ready for what God has in store for you. Man. Don't you let pain shut your mouth. Don't you let problems shut up your praise. Don't you let tribulation stop you from witnessing about the goodness of the Lord because that's the test of the true believers. Who, after you've done everything to do to stand, Who's still standing? That's it. Who is still standing? Oh, my God. Saying the Lord is good. My God. Reaping may endure for a night. I but, cried last night, but on, this but morning I got on. up in praise. Come on, somebody. My goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Boy, that's now. good. Hey. You, look, hey. the Lord was honest. speaking this same thing in prayer. Man, I'm telling you, it's yeah. so powerful. Yeah. And, and he told me to tell them, you got to know what season you're in. Yeah. You got to know in, in those hard times, you got to know what season of life mm -hmm. that God has you in so that you can see it how he sees it so that you can walk it out how you're supposed to walk it out and not look at it from the vantage point of just you yeah. and your own natural vision yeah. because then you will do something that you were never supposed to do in the first place yeah. to cause more dilemma if oh, you will absolutely. you know what i'm saying absolutely. so man powerful yeah powerful you know god has gifted us with his son jesus christ on the inside that we can endure any challenge. He has given us the wisdom and the counsel of the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us in all things. And the truth wow. of the matter, beloved, is your Bible from Genesis to Revelation was written in the midst of controversy, yeah, persecution, right yeah. assault, attack, yeah. being scattered, yeah. murdered, brutalized, rejected. But this <laughs> word was written in the midst of that type of context. So God knows that all you need is a word in times of trouble. All yeah. you need is a I'm word in God. times of challenges and the word of the Lord is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. If I could just get a word, I Come can on. get up. Come I can on. get up if I get a word. Come on. I can get back up if Come I get on. a word in my soul and Come my spirit. On. Come and on. And then what the Lord had us had me talk about was how the steps, the steps of a good man. Yeah. Are ordered by the Lord. Come yeah. on. Man, man, a word. Man. Come on. Sometimes that was sometimes God will oh put God. a lion's den on the menu for you. Come wow. on, Daniel. Wow. Sometimes That's God will possible. order a fiery furnace for you. Mm -hmm. Come on, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yeah. Sometimes God will order a prison cell for you. Yeah. Come on, Apostle come, uh, Paul. Come yeah. on, Peter. Yeah. But God knows it's for the miracle that he's getting ready to do. <laughs> I, take me oh, through the God. valley if you're going to bring me out by the miracle. I don't mind you taking me through the valley if you're bringing me out by the miracle. Come on. Come my on, God, somebody. My God. That's why Job could say, though he slay me, yes. yet will I trust him because yes. it's a miracle on the other side of my mess. Yes. And if you could believe that, it's a miracle on, on the, the other, other side. side. If my you can God. believe that, my you can God. receive that. Yes. But you got to believe that. This is not make believe. This is you not a joke. This is not. This is, the, this is the truth of the power of God. Amen. And who he is. Amen. And you've got to believe that in 2020. Amen. You got to. You got to believe. You got to. I ain't going to tell you that came up in Bible. Come on, somebody. You got to. <laughs> I'm just. I think you're I trying think. to get us to re preach Bible stuff. I, I, I mean, pray. I think I'm you sorry. had so I much mean, fun. I mean, man, it's the one spirit. You know how we do. You know, and, and God is speaking. And so he's speaking, right? You know? Wow. Speak, Lord. Speak. Yes. Me. Yes. Seriously. Hallelujah. You got to believe. I'm telling you, if 2020 didn't do nothing else for a lot of people, it has challenged 
You don't believe in God. Girl. I'm trying to tell you. Girl, look here. 2020. <laughs> Why did I say that? <laughs> I said, look here. Oh, my God. This is funny. 2020. Oh, 2020. Hey, it's yeah. real. Mm -hmm. This is some real stuff. And, mm -hmm. and, and you're more than qualified. Amen. And so are we. Let's get into the word of God on yes, tonight. Yes, sir. Let's Amen. get into the word of God on Amen. tonight. Amen. Pastor, would you pray yes. us? Pray Let, Father God, we bless and thank you for this amazing time that you've allowed us to mm -hmm. come together. We thank you for the opportunity you, to stream live that we may continue to teach mm -hmm. the gospel of Jesus Christ by your by your power, your might, and your strength. God, I pray you bless the mm -hmm. viewers, bless the hearers, God. I pray, God, an anointing that the people of God and the your people will hear you deeper tonight, God, in the mm -hmm. mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, God, I pray that you would endow us with the power and an ability to teach, God, exactly how you want it to be ta taught in the mighty name of Jesus and that your people will be good ground, that the seed of your word will not only fall, but take root in the hearts and the souls and the minds of your people. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise. We thank you for the rain, God. Hallelujah. Rain down now, God, like only you can. We bless you now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 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 God bless you. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you for being such an anointed intercessor. Bless you. Your prayers, you. your prayers Amen. make way for the word of God. Amen. And I praise God for you. Amen. Thank you for praying for us. Amen. Amen. You are so All welcome. right. Good. Amen. All right. So we're going to get started, everybody. Go to Luke chapter six. We're talking about <coughs> living life through the eyes of Jesus, looking at the world, looking at scenarios, situation, looking at the Bless kingdom God. of God through yeah. the eyes of Jesus because you're a king's kid. You're chosen <laughs> and you have a purpose to be an ambassador mm -hmm. in the earth realm for Jesus Christ. God is confident in his work inside of you. And I'm going to tell you something. Even though you're facing some challenges, you're doing a great job. Amen. I, I just want you to know that. Don't let Amen. anybody put you down and don't let this world condemn you. You're doing a great job. Amen. Keep it up. Luke chapter 6, I want you to pick up in verse 20. And there's a lot packed inside of here. We're going to do our best to break it down where you can understand it. But Luke uh, chapter 6, verse 20. Pastor, why don't you kind of read this? I think you've got like the New King James or the King James. And I'd rather do that for this particular passage. Okay. Because mine is really wordy. It's okay. really, really wordy. Okay? I'm going to 28, correct? Yeah, yeah. Go All to right. tw Luke 20 through 28. 6, yeah. verse 20 through 28. Yeah. And turning his gaze toward his disciples, he began to say, Blessed are you who are poor, mm. for yours is the kingdom of God. Mm. Blessed are you who are hu who hunger now, for mm. you shall be satisfied. Mm -hmm. Blessed are you who weep now, mm -hmm. for you shall laugh. Mm. Blessed are you when men hate you and mm. ostracize you and insult you mm. and scorn your name as evil for mm. the sake of the Son of Man. Be glad in that day mm -hmm. and leap for joy, mm -hmm. for behold, your reward is great in heaven. Mm -hmm. For in the same way their fathers used to treat the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you are receiving your comfort in full. In full. Mm -hmm. Woe to you who are well fed now, for you shall be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. Mm -hmm. Woe to you when all men speak well of you. For their fathers used to treat the false prophets in the same way. But I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. Mm. Ha. Love your enemies. My goodness. Pray, My goodness. do good to those who hate you. Yep, that's what it says. Bless mm -hmm. and show kindness to those who curse you. And pray, pray for, for those, those who mistreat. mistreat you. Okay. So Jesus, <laughs> Luke says he turns to his disciples to start disciples. teaching the Beatitudes. Yeah. Mark or Matthew says there's also a big crowd around as well. Mm -hmm. So you can, in your mind's eye, see the disciples in the front and all the rest of the congregation kind of behind as you would a church setting. Jesus is having church because he's about to teach the church how to live for the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. which is opposite of the kingdom of this world. So here I want to start off with this statement. Mm -hmm. To live for God is to live totally opposite of living according to the world 
or to the social culture. Mm -hmm. A believer is called to live the opposite yeah. of the culture, countercultural, mm -hmm. according to the kingdom of God, <laughs> not to the kingdom of the world, uh -huh. which means we cannot act, mm -hmm. interact, mm -hmm. respond, do, wow. say yeah. what our flesh Come on. or what, what, what society would do mm -hmm. in a situation. <laughs> we have to do by the kingdom of God Man. and not the kingdom of this world. Man. So let's talk about it. Yeah. We can't, we have to pray for those who do wrong things to us. Yeah. Love our enemies. Yeah. Do good to those who misuse you. That's, That's totally against true. what my flesh wants to do. Every time. That's totally against what I'm thinking about. Every time. That's totally against the outcome that I want to see. Yeah. But isn't that like God? <laughs> that he would have us do what God would do Amen. versus what we want to do. Absolutely. So let's go back to verse 20, and let's look at a couple of things that I want to pull out. It's like verse 20 through <laughs> uh, about 22, mm -hmm. Jesus deals with the poor, yeah. the hungry, mm -hmm. and he, he deals with those who are weeping. Yeah. And those who are hungry, something like that. Yeah, well, okay. hate you. Okay, so yeah, so so read read the first verse twenty again. And turning his gaze toward his disciples, he began to say, "Blessed are you who are poor." Okay, stop right there. Mm -hmm. So there's two understandings of this word "poor," mm -hmm. because if I'm poor, how am I blessed? Right. Yeah. How, how in the world am I blessed if I'm poor? Mm -hmm. Do you feel blessed when you're poor? <laughs> right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. so there's two teachings about this word "poor." Mm -hmm. The first one is that Jesus is literally talking about people who lack food mm -hmm. or people who are poor in any kind of way. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a home, if you don't have food, mm -hmm. if you don't have those sufficient needs for your life, mm -hmm. he says, he's talking to that group. Okay. There's another teaching that says he's talking about people who are spiritually poor. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Those people who don't feel like they got it all together spiritually, mm -hmm. but know that they need God. Mm -hmm. oh, that's good, right? That's and know that they, know have, that they, need they God. know that they need God, and they mm -hmm. know that they have a need for spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. Either way you look at it, Jesus says whether you are homeless or you're you're poor, you're without, or whether you are somebody who is poor in spirituality yeah. and mm -hmm. you know you need God yeah. and you know you need maturity, yeah. Jesus says you're still blessed. Yeah. Now this word blessed means that you're happy, come on somebody, mm -hmm. and to be admired mm -hmm. if you are somebody who is hungry, mm -hmm. somebody who is poor rather, mm -hmm. without, mm -hmm. or somebody who has spiritual immaturity mm -hmm. and in need of God. But why would he say that? Right. Read the rest of, of, of what it says. Um, yours is the kingdom of God. Because yours <laughs> is the kingdom of mm -hmm. God. This is why you're blessed. What he's saying is Jesus and Man. God are on the <laughs> side of the abandoned. Wow. Jesus and God fight for those who don't have anything. Right. Jesus and God come to those mm -hmm. who know they need a savior. Mm -hmm. So he is saying, mm -hmm. if you are without, yeah. if you are poor, if you lack spiritual growth, he says, God's going to come and bless you. My goodness. God's going to give you an answer through Jesus My Christ. My you, you're blessed because your answer is coming. Yeah. You're blessed because your help is coming. Yeah. And it says that these are the ones who are accepted into the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. But that means now I'm not going to always be poor right. because he's yeah. coming to bring me into his kingdom. Yeah. He's coming to bring me into his inheritance. Yeah. He's coming to bring me into his blessings. Exactly. So if you are poor, mm -hmm. come on, mm -hmm. you lack, you're marginalized, you're on the outskirts. Yeah. You know, people must understand God is always with those who mm -hmm. are without. Mm -hmm. He's always with those who are hurting. He's mm -hmm. always with those who are lacking. Mm -hmm. How many times have you been lacking yep. and God showed up on your behalf? Yes, sir. Absolutely. How many times have you been without yeah. and God showed up right in yeah. the nick of time? Yeah. Anybody ever needed some bills paid and God showed yes, up? Yes, Lord. Yes. Come on, hallelujah. somebody. Anybody rent was due, God Come showed on. up. Come on. Hallelujah. So, so, right so Jesus is teaching that the poor are not without help. My goodness. They always have God on their side. Mm -hmm. That's Blessed good. are the poor. The second one, read that next one, Pastor, about the hungry. Verse 21, blessed mm -hmm. are you who hunger now, mm -hmm. for you shall be satisfied. Okay, so he says, blessed are the hungry. 
So there's two different teachings about this word hungry. Mm -hmm. The first one is, blessed is anybody who is actually physically hungry. Mm -hmm. For if you don't have any food, it says the Lord is going to provide for you. Mm -hmm. Jesus is teaching the church the provisions of God. Mm, yeah, that's good. He's talking about the provisions of God. Yeah. The other teaching is, blessed are you who are spiritually hungry. That's right. Mm -hmm. Because if you seek and thirst after righteousness, Come on. you are going to be fed. Yep. Jesus says, seek me mm -hmm. and you shall find me. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. So God has said, I'm not going to play hide and seek with you. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to leave you in a position of hunger. I'm not going to yeah. leave you without. Yeah. Whether it is physical hunger yeah. or, or spiritual, spiritual hunger, hunger. Yeah. I'm the God who can provide all of your needs. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. What, no matter what kind of hunger that you have. Amen. Pastor, have you ever been hungry yes, for something? Absolutely. And God yeah. showed up and blessed showed you. Showed up. Oh, my yes. God. Yes. Just after more of him. Come on, you somebody. Know, or a more, um, a more, what word do I want to use? Saturated relationship Come of on. intimacy with him. Mm. And boy, did he show up. Boy, does he continue to show That's up. That's good. Can you say that a little louder? Can you say that a little louder? <laughs> oh, so yeah, I know. I'm like, I forgot. We're yeah, over here. Yeah. I just was having a conversation with you. Wasn't. You know, a, a more saturated, intimate relationship with God. And he shows up. Mm. He shows I can remember. I can remember early years, mm -hmm. you know, starting out in the journey of, 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 of living a life of an adult Christian and that desire for mm -hmm. him. Come on. Just a desire. I wanted to know him. I yeah. wanted to understand. I was hungry for the word of God. And he showed up. Mm. And he keeps showing up. And I don't know why. I, I, you know, when you first started talking about this, I thought about Rahab. Mm. And I thought about even in the midst of where she found herself Come on. as a harlot, the Bible calls her. Mm. She had a under. I believe she had a hunger and a desire <sighs> For the greater she had heard about. Yes. For the one that she had heard about. Mm. And I believe that is why she was willing to hide those guys that came oh, wow. against the it, it, the ones who were coming yeah. to ask her, where did they go? I believe she was like, no, I want something more than this. Mm. I want something that I've heard about is greater than this. Mm. You know, it makes me also think about the Samaritan woman when yeah. Jesus said, you know, you will thirst no more if you drink of this water that yes. I have to give. Yes. You know what I'm saying? There, So there is that reality that mm. there is a spiritual hunger that we all go through, I believe. You don't have any reason to thirst and hunger for someone else's anointing. That's right. Because oh, Rahab was, good, was an Apostle. excellent idea, yes. uh, a point. Mm -hmm. The Samaritan woman was an excellent mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, there's going to be rivers of living water Come flowing on. out of you. Yep. Not out of the priest down the road <laughs> yeah, or the prophet right. down the street, right. but the rivers of living yeah. water are going to flow fresh out of you, oh my one Samaritan Come woman on. at the well. Come on. Come I on. love the way you brought in Rahab because she was desperate yeah. for God. Mm -hmm. She was hungry for God. Mm -hmm. She was longing for God. Yeah. And she got God. And she got him. Come on, Absolutely. somebody. Absolutely. Absolutely. Jesus was preparing the people for the revelation that the Messiah had They're come. Wrong. He was, he was getting ready to tell them, all that oh, yeah. hunger you've had, mm -hmm. all that thirst you've had for me, yeah. I'm here. You don't know it yet, my, but I'm here for you. My, my, my. How many times is God right there for us and we don't know it yet? Oh, my God, I had that thought today. That is amazing. That is real. Mm. That is so He's real. He's right there. Okay. And if you will up the hunger, come That's on, good. somebody. Up the hunger. If you will up the hunger, yeah. like you said, yeah. reach out for that intimacy yes. in God, yes. he will show up. Yes. He will give you revelation. Absolutely. He will speak to your soul. Absolutely. He will uh, refresh the anointing on your yes. life. Yes, absolutely. If you seek after him, he says, you're going to be full. You know, I like the way you just said mm -hmm. um, there are going to be um, springs that come out of you. Come on. Because what I heard when you said that is that somebody needs to be reminded that you were included. Come you on. were not excluded. Yeah. Remember the scripture tells us that in Christ we've been engrafted. We've mm. been engrafted. We've been included into his family mm. through Jesus Christ. Right. And I feel like that somebody, I love the way that you said that because some, I believe somebody needs to know that you were not 
excluded. You are not excluded, but instead you're included. And these examples, think about Rahab. Think about the, the Samaritan woman and how Jesus said, I had need to go to Samaria. He's had need to come to your house. He had need to come to my house. He had need to meet us right where we were because there is uh, there is that predestined, mm. that preordained, that pre-thing that he did before he ever even sent us to the earth to do and we have to remember that christ is a is a christ is a savior is a god of inclusion and not exclusion hallelujah pastor that reminds me of peter mm -hmm. after he denied mm -hmm. jesus yeah and and after so so he figured he was no longer included mm. but because he was predestined <laughs> To be yeah, included get him too. in spite of messing up. Yes, in, and in spite, spite of, of messing dropping up. the ball. Ooh. He still had a hunger for God, even hunger though he had God. made some mistakes. Yes. God made a way, predestined a way, yes. for Peter to be included yes. in the group, in the meeting yes. of Galilee, yes. to finish his destiny and his purpose, even though he dropped the ball and made some mistakes oh and had walked goodness. away from God. And walked away from God, but he still said You're go included. get my disciples and peter because he's included he's included ladies and gentlemen you are you've been included you're not excluded mm. people might exclude you but god never ever excludes us that's powerful isn't that beautiful that's very beautiful that is beautiful Woo! the third one talk yes. about that weeping read that one again um i'm in 21 the b portion mm-hmm Blessed are you who weep now, mm -hmm. for you shall laugh. Blessed are you who That's weep good. now, for <laughs> you shall laugh. Now, the Old That's Testament, so this kind of reflects or mirrors the Old Testament. Weeping may endure mm -hmm. for a night. Uh -huh. Joy comes in the morning. Yeah. But when he says, blessed are you who weep now, mm -hmm. that word weep, mm -hmm. he is talking about, there's two different teachings. Number one is, Blessed are you who are going through some painful things and you're crying out mm -hmm. and you're hurting. Mm -hmm. This is my stuff right here. Now, yeah, yeah. This, this is good for, even for the season you that we're broken, living in right now. You're broken. My goodness. And you're weeping. Mm -hmm. you, you're in a you're in a, a, a season of sorrow. Yeah. He said you're gonna soon laugh. Yeah. Why? Because Christ is on the side of the sorrowful. Your sorrow gets his attention. When you're hurting like that, he hasn't left you. He's waiting on you to turn to him or he's letting your season pass. But you're going to laugh. You're going to smile again. Oh, my God. oh the Bible oh says God. if a tree has been cut down at the scent of rain, mm -hmm. it shall be. Bring, spring forth again. Mm -hmm. See that scent of rain. Scent Even that tree that's cut down mm -hmm. look like it's over. Yeah. God will send a rain and that tree will start. <laughs> Life comes oh back into God. that tree oh just at the scent of rain. That's so so the one teaching is you may be in pain right now, but God's coming to your yes. rescue. Yes, yes. It won't. In other words, it won't always be, be this way. way. It won't always be feel this way and that is true and this is this is so powerful for me because i have i have been at that place of weeping when it feels like you're never going to smile again it feels mm. like that what you've gone through is so detrimental and for me it started when i was 12 when my dad died i thought life as i understood it and anything else i thought it was over I thought I would never smile again. I thought I would never laugh again. I thought I thought what it was no use of even living because the superman of my life was gone. Oh wow. And I did what is there after this? And I cried and I cried and I cried. Oh my god. Mm. And so this one really touches me mm. like in a deep way because if someone would have told me that year mm. that you at, at the moment that that happened in the season of my time in the heaven that you you're gonna laugh again i would have said there's no way mm. and so tonight if you have found yourself in a place of sorrow mm. when you have so much going on Literally. maybe you have lo you have true. lost some loved ones yeah. in this season because of the pandemic mm. or just because because there have been a lot of people who have passed this year 
and you just don't even know how you're going to make it. You have, you just feel like uh, there's no sense in living, but take this word with you tonight and know mm. beyond a shadow of a doubt. You don't know when you don't know how, but God is able and you will. I promise mm. you, if you just hang in there. You keep trusting God and calling out to him in your tears. Yeah. I promise you, God will show up. You know why? Because he's not a respecter of persons. He showed up for me, that 12-year-old little girl who lost her dad, who did not want one person in school to, I didn't want them to ask me about my dad. It made me cry. I went to class, they asked me about my dad. I cried. I cried and cried and cried. But if somebody would have told me then I would have laughed again, I wouldn't have believed it. But I'm telling you, I laugh now. If you've ever watched this on here, I laugh a lot. Yeah. And I love to laugh. I love God is the only one that is able to do that. Mm -hmm. He is the only one who really will make your night turn into day. Mm -hmm. The one who really will take that weeping away and give you laughter. Mm -hmm. God is the only one, Apostle. The good news, Pastor, in your testimony. The good news for those who are listening right now. The scripture says he'll turn your mourning into dancing. Yes. Watch this. Over and, and over, over and, and over, over and over again. Over again. Oh, yes. There's not a measure of pain that he can't heal. My God. There's not a depth <laughs> of woundedness that he can't Jesus. he can't come in Jesus. and give you joy. Jesus. And so what he restored was the joy, the joy. in your heart. Yep. Absolutely. When you got Christ Absolutely. in it, he gave you the joy Absolutely. back. True, pure, clean, yeah. unfiltered, not connected to anything yeah. material. He just gave you joy on the yes, inside. Yes. And now it bubbles over. Yes. And you share that joy with other people yes. throughout the world. Because Christ is on the inside. And you know, the another beauty to it too, is that the next time you find yourself weeping, mm -hmm. because you're going through something else, you remember, I will laugh. Come because on. I was able to laugh that last time. Because Christ dwells Come on the inside on. and God loves yes, me. Yes, absolutely. And he's going to gonna laugh. Show up again for me. Well, did he not call? Oh, over and over again. Did he, he not call did. Sarah to laugh he did. when he told her in her old age she was gonna have a child? <laughs> he didn't really expect for her to laugh, but she laughed and said, "Oh my God, shall I have fun again in my old age?" Yeah. Like wow. Yeah. You know what I mean? It has. I mean, you can't contemplate it, right? Yeah. In your intellect. Okay. The, Man. The second side of the teaching on this word uh, "weep" is for those who will mourn in repentance. Mm -hmm. For those who mourn in repentance of their sins, mm -hmm. it's saying you're going to mm -hmm. laugh again, meaning that God's going to forgive you mm -hmm. and restore you mm -hmm. to emotional health, mm -hmm. to physical health, mm -hmm. to literal health, mm -hmm. to psychological health. Mm -hmm. That as you cry out to God in mm -hmm. repentance, oh, God. it's guaranteeing you that the Lord hears you mm -hmm. and that the Lord is forgiving you. Yep. And I need somebody to know that right now. Yeah. The Lord has forgiven you. My goodness. Doesn't matter what it was. Doesn't matter how My big goodness. it is to you. It's not that big to God. God. Yeah. He's already forgiven you in Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. And now he wants you to move forward mm -hmm. happy, blessed, mm -hmm. to be admired that the world will see that you're not condemned and that God has forgiven you and you have forgiven yourself. Amen. God forgives you. And sometimes you have to go ahead and accept that word. Mm. And let people catch up to it. Come on, somebody. That's somebody's word. You yes. go ahead and accept what he's already done. And you live in that laughter, i.e. that joy, mm -hmm. that restored joy. And you let other people, let them stay mad, but let yes. them catch up with you. Absolutely. You be the example. You be the example. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that you walk in what he has promised. <laughs> you understand? And still, and that's an opportunity to minister to someone. You, you know what I mean? Do you, you know what I'm saying? I, I exactly feel what you mean. And I'm, I'm, I'm laughing. I'm laughing in the joy of the Lord because I think about how people expect for you to condemn yourself because exactly. they're unhappy with themselves yep. because they don't have the joy of the Lord on the inside. Yep. 
And because they condemn you, yeah, they, they judge you or see you a certain way, mm -hmm. they expect you to heap that up on yeah. yourself mm -hmm. and walk around with your head down because they yeah. want to keep throwing up your past, yeah. throwing up what happened so long ago and all that kind Sorry. of stuff. But you don't have Sorry. to accept that. You don't. You don't have to walk in that. You don't have you to don't. embody that. Come you on, don't. somebody. Come on. You can see the Lord has forgiven me. This is good. I'm in a new place. I, I don't on. even care about that. You obviously not on my team come anymore. On. I'm on a new team. Oh my goodness. And if you were a child of God, you wouldn't be judging my past in the anyway, first place because you got one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I you know, I you know, I strive to be like the Lord. I forget. Come on. Man. Be like, did what? Yeah. I don't I don't even remember doing that. <laughs> did what? Because the Lord don't remember. No. Amen. He doesn't remember. No. But we stick, but we try to hold on to it or we let other people do it. No, you cannot. Yeah. You cannot. That's, that's the word of the Lord. The, the word says the Lord cast your sins as far as the east is from the west, never to remember, never to remember. them anymore. Again, that's right. God doesn't have a record of your sins. Nope. He has a record of your faith. <laughs> in the book of, what was that, Romans, the, 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 the chapter of faith, mm -hmm. you know, by faith, Abraham, you know, and Isaac, I mean, Abraham and Sarah bought forth the seed, Isaac, yeah. by faith, Noah built the ark, by faith, Moses crossed the Red Sea. You don't hear, you don't read anything in there that says, by sin, Moses <laughs> was so angry, yeah. he never made it to the promised land. Right. You don't That's see true. you don't see by sin right. David slept with Bathsheba and killed Uriah right. and God killed his first son. Right. You don't see that yeah. stuff in there because yeah. God's not keeping a record of yeah. your mistakes. Yeah. He's keeping a record of your faith right. and That's your obedience good. in Jesus name. That's Go ahead and receive that on tonight because that's good news for somebody. Amen. That's Woo! Good. Now this last one uh, about yeah. being uh, forsaken and re Rejected oh my all goodness. This stuff. Verse 22. We're in Luke chapter 6. I'm going to read verse 22. Yeah. Blessed are you when men hate you. Oh, I'm blessed because I have haters? <laughs> oh, that's so funny to me. I like that. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, and ostracize you uh -huh. and insult you Okay. and scorn your name as evil for the sake of the son of man. So now you got to pay attention to this verse. Uh -huh. In this verse, Jesus is given a scenario of a believer being scorned. Mm -hmm. um, they are being ostracized. ostracized. Hated. So you're being hated. Uh -huh. and insulted. You and you're being insulted. None of that sounds like you're a <laughs> blessed person. And when these things start happening to people in the body of Christ, mm -hmm. other shallow Christians say they cursed. Yep. Right there. That was good, Apostle. Oh, they curse because, and you got to pay attention. He said, you're blessed when people take your name and speak evil of your name wow. for the sake of the things that you're doing, doing in Jesus Christ. Christ. My God. So Jesus here is talking about rejection mm -hmm. and suffering through rejection yep. from the foundation of victory. Mm -hmm. So he's saying, even though you are rejected, you are yeah. hated, yeah. you are scorned. And you're insulted. insulted. They spread your name around in my an goodness. evil way. He says you're blessed. That's oh my one, God! That just that's that's one of those you just have to sit with that for a minute. Well, let's sit. Like, with you that know what me. I'm saying? Like, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. My haters are indication that I'm blessed. Yeah. The fact that they talk about my name in an evil way when I'm doing good for God. When I'm doing good for God. I'm blessed. Yeah. Uh, the, the fact that they're spreading your name in an evil way. My goodness. And you're a child of God. Yeah. That means you're blessed. You're blessed. Why? Because you're going through this. Wow. The same way Christ right. went right. through this. That's right. That's Look right. at what they, they call Jesus Beelzebub. Beelzebub. Mm -hmm. That means you're the devil personified. Right. You're a big devil right here in front of us casting right. out demons because the demons are yours in the first place. Right. <coughs> the same I thing they you, say man. about Jesus for mm -hmm. doing the kingdom work yeah. is the same thing that's going to happen to us for doing kingdom work. Amen. But we got to remember, it's just an indication that I'm blessed. It's an indication. My haters blessed. are an indication that yeah. I'm blessed. The lies you tell them are just an indication that I'm blessed. Tell, 
taking my good and speaking evil of it is just an indication that I'm blessed. You can call me cursed if you want to. I call myself blessed. It's not about what you call me. It's about what he calls me. Come on, give God some praise right there. That's why I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. I'm blessed going in. I'm blessed leaving out. I'm blessed sitting down. I'm blessed rising up. Everywhere the sole of my foot tread, the Lord has commanded a blessing. There is favor on my life. Increase on me. Double for my trouble. I am the head and not the tail, Whoa. above only and never beneath. You can say what you want, but my head will stay high. My confidence will stay high. I will keep on walking on my high places. Yeah. I will think from victory. I will speak from victory. My I goodness. will act from victory. Yeah. As long as my daddy is pleased, pleased with, with me, me. you oh don't have God. to bless me because I can go from poor, from a valley to a mountain Come in on. 24 hours whenever he's ready to bless me. Come on in here, my somebody. God. Woo, hallelujah. My God, my, oh my God. God. God, my God. Come on. All I can think is this that that's why it's so imp so important whoo, and so powerful for us to know the word of God so that when people say we're cursed and and there has just been this wrong kind of teaching it for years anyway mm -hmm. that because you're going through something that means you've done something wrong I remember being brought up in that and that's just as crazy as all get out you yeah. know what I'm saying it's it's crazy it's not Bible and the, the the power just sitting here listening to that reality, understanding that when these kinds of things happen, because the truth is, is for the most part, we don't think that. No. We don't think I'm blessed because somebody just insulted me. Come on. And that insult is because of what I'm doing for Jesus Christ or the things that I'm doing in the kingdom of God. We, we don't think that, oh, they're scorning my name. Oh, this is this is an indication that I am blessed. Come we on. don't we don't see it that way, but it made me think about how the Bible talks about let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus, and how our mind is supposed to be changed. It's mm. supposed to be change you know what i'm saying Absolutely. to reflect that of christ and if we don't allow the word of god to change our mind we will keep falling into these pits because what happens is, is when well this is what we say all this bad stuff happening to me i got to be cursed there it is. what are you talking about there you don't is. know the word of god, word of god. How, how are you gonna be cursed when god said you're blessed come on you can't be cursed. Somebody lying. I like to say that. If God say one thing, you say something about something else. Then somebody's lying in the scenario, and it is not God, right? Mm -hmm. Two minus one is me. I got to be the liar. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Because God's word is true. If He said I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I don't care what I feel like. I'm blessed. I don't care because they insulted me and they hurt my little feelings. I'm still blessed. It doesn't mean that I'm cursed because I feel a way based on what someone else done. Come on. The truth is, is that he's already, and I love this because I was sitting here thinking, this is why Jesus told us. Come on. Because he knew what's going to happen and he needs us to put it in perspective. The problem is, is we let our emotions get caught, get, get us first before we can get a word or get perspective according to the word. And we fall into this pit believing that we're cursed. And God is like, no, you have it wrong. You're blessed. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. And some of us that are probably dealing with depression because we think we are, are cursed, all we need, your prescription might just be the word of God to give you what you need to change, change how you see it and trust that God's word is more true than how you feel. You understand what I'm saying? A part of, man, a part of man's uh, greatest appetite is to be accepted. Yes, absolutely. It's to be loved. Absolutely. And this is why it hurts so bad when somebody mm -hmm. rejects you mm -hmm. or when somebody does not accept you. Mm -hmm. But you got to understand something. You're trying to get acceptance from, from the, the wrong, wrong crowd. Hello, right there. <laughs> you draw your acceptance from, from God. You, you draw to. your acceptance Apostles from Jesus Christ. Apostles don't make me run. You have to. Come on up in here, somebody. You have to because the ones who accept you today will reject yeah, you, you know, tomorrow. That's the same thing that happened to Jesus. Hello. When they crucified yes. him. Yes. So instead of rejection, Look at it as protection. Yes. Rejection equals protection. protection. If they Come don't on. let you in, it was God protecting you from what was on the inside once you got in there. Come you, on, somebody. You didn't know what was behind the door. Come on, somebody. Ah, ah. You didn't know what was over behind there. door you, number two. Come on. You were just looking at the outside and you thought it looks really good. Yeah, that's good for somebody. Because oh, that's on. like even a person. You thought they looked, uh, from the outside, they looked.
looks good and God shut the door and you got mad. You ain't know that person could have been somebody who was going to try to take your life. You got to know. You got to know. You got to know that you can trust God. You got to you know you can trust God more than you can trust yourself. Amen. Mm. More than you can trust yourself. Mm. So, I'm man, I'm telling you. You And don't focus on your haters. Focus huh. on your vision. I, well, Focus on your purpose. You have to. You know, sometimes you don't know who your haters are. Your haters can be close around you. Yeah. Acting like imitators. Come on, Come on somebody. Come on. But they're really haters. You can't yeah. focus on that. You, you got to focus on your vision, you cannot, on your mm -hmm. purpose, and what God has in store Amen. for your life. Amen. Your hater is your elevator. Amen. Focus on your mission and your vision and your purpose that God has in store. Because for you. Jesus. Let's get it. Jesus didn't focus on Judas. No, he did not. And he knew what Judas was going but to do. But he Judas. loved him. He Come loved, on, somebody. That's my point. Oh, my. But We're getting there. We okay. What's the response to all of this down there, Pastor? What's 23, the be glad <laughs> in that day and leap for joy. This is so good. For behold, your reward in heaven is, wait a minute, your reward is great in heaven. If you're willing to suffer for God, come on, somebody. He said rejoice in it. Throw a party in all this rejection that you're going through. Come on. Throw a party and all this rejection that you're going through and being insulted <laughs> and, and your name being scorned and people hating on you. Come on, if you're poor, you're hungry, you have lack. He says rejoice and be glad because guess what? I'm rewarding you great in heaven for your suffering as a child of God to be my own. I have something greater waiting on you. Come on, it's not going to stay that way. Come on, somebody. It's temporary. It's seasonal. Let's get it's it. not going to remain that way. There is a rescue that is coming. That see, that's the those are the reasons to to go ahead and rejoice in all of those things because there is a rescue. Come on, Amen. Somebody. Come on. There is a rescue, and that in and of itself ought to be great news. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You in mm -hmm. trouble? Something's going on? You mean somebody's coming to rescue me? Yes, Jesus is on the way. Mm -hmm. A rescue. A rescue has been a sign for those people. Mm. Amen. Isn't that good? That's beautiful. When we fall into these categories, there is a rescue. Come on, somebody. Amen. And that's beautiful. And little. That is beautiful. Little did the people know. Those teachings were hard teachings. Yeah. But what they didn't know was that the answer was standing right there right. teaching it to them. The rescuer was teaching it that's to them. Good, Their Apostle. help was right there. Right there. And that's why you can handle Ooh. your challenges, your sorrows, your pain, your that's rejection, right because the helper is right, right there. there with you. Right there. Saying, right there. cast all your cares on me. Oh, my God. Because I care for you. Oh, I just wish somebody would do that right now. Mm. I wish you would just shift Come on. right now in the name of Jesus Christ and say, you know what, God, I'm going to trust you at your word. I tried yeah. everything else. I'm going to trust you at your word tonight mm -hmm. and I'm going to let go of all of this stuff and I'm just going to believe in your word. Mm -hmm. Your power is sure and true. Hallelujah. I'm just believing God in your word in Jesus. Name. I believe God there is a rescue that's got my name on it. Hallelujah. And I'm coming out of this. Glory be to God. It's mm -hmm. not going to stay this way. Glory be to God. Things are going to get better. Hallelujah. Glory mm -hmm. be to God. I don't know when, but I know who. Glory be to God. I just, I just wish somebody would just receive that tonight. Make that declaration tonight and shift out of that place mm -hmm. of hopelessness. That place of feeling like you've been forgotten about. God mm -hmm. has not forgotten about you. God has not excluded you. He has included. You're in his family. He loves you. He mm. loves you. He adores you. He has not forgotten about you. Mm. He has not forgotten about you. And I just pray in the name of Jesus Christ that tonight you receive that, that you believe it, and that you receive it in the name of Jesus. And you just hold that thing close to you mm. and just trust God. Hallelujah. That's beautiful, Pastor. Glory to God. I see someone just wiping their tears away. Bless you, Father. They're wiping the tears Bless you, Father. from their face. Glory to God. Because they are believing in their rescue. Glory you to God. You wipe those Woo! tears from your eyes and you believe in your rescue because favor is on you and I declare it in Jesus name according to the word of God Jesus. walk in your rescue Jesus. walk in your deliverance walk in that favor have a mindset that it's already done that he is drawing me out or he is healing me in it yes. for my Shall God is good me. at all times hallelujah yes. we, God some praise. we sit here as God's proof mm. of rescue mm. oh my goodness 
We Ooh. sit here tonight. I'm telling you, see, we're not talking about something we heard. We're talking about something that we know. We're talking about something, a place that we've been. We're we we we've been oh, there. We've God. been without glory to God, and He showed up. Mm. Hallelujah! Mm. We've been crying. We've weeped, mm. and we've had sorrow, yes. glory, and He just keep on showing up, and He keep on showing. Up. We've been insulted. Our name has been scorned. Mm. We God. have been rejected. All of it. 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 And He just keep on showing up, mm. and, and He keep on showing up, and He mm. keep on, and, he, and and He bring you out so good, you don't even look like what you've been through. You don't even look like where you've been. You don't even look like you cried. You don't even look like you had the sorrow because that's just how amazing he is. So you keep your head up. Glory to God. He is not a respecter of persons. He did it for us. He'll do it for you too. He'll come right in and rescue your household just like he rescued Rahab's baby. Rescue all of them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep your head up. Keep your hope up. Keep your faith up. Trust in his word. I'm telling you, if you don't trust my, nothing else, God. trust God at his word. God. Trust God that he loves you. Trust him that he will never fail. Oh, my God. Ever. He won't. Oh, my God. He won't. I'll take you to the bank. He won't. Oh he won't. God. And I want to encourage somebody in that tonight because I'm telling you, we sit here tonight as, as, as those who have been rescued. And glory be to God. And so now we're able to minister this scripture from a place of compassion and a, and a place of, of fire because we've been there and he showed up. Oh, my goodness. He showed up and he kept showing up and he keeps showing up. So every time we, we come to the next thing, we know he's going to show up again because that's just how faithful he is. Amen. Woo! Glory to God. Glory to God. Bring tears to my eyes. I just want you to receive it. I want you to trust God. I don't really, I don't, you know, your circumstances don't intimidate him. Your situations don't intimidate him. Where you've been, what you've done, none of that intimidates him. He knows you and he is able to bring you out of anything at any time, at any given moment. If he hasn't, for, if he hasn't given up on you, why are you giving up on you? It doesn't matter what the report is. It doesn't matter how many people walked out. It does not matter. It doesn't matter. God is still able. The one, the widow woman apostle, when the prophet was sent to her, she was about, she told the prophet, I'm getting ready to take my last little bit of oil, my last little bit of meal, and I'm going to make my last meal and die. And I believe that's where somebody is. You are, you are about to make your last, you're going to do this last little thing and you think it's over. But God has sent a prophet to you today mm -hmm. to tell you that you will live and not die in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You will survive. There are some, there are some jars in your house. There's some oil that God's got to pour out in your life. Don't you give up. Don't you give in. God is sending a rescue to you. He might have sent us for you tonight to rescue you with his word that he has not forgotten about you and that he loves you unconditionally. People walked out on you, but God won't. Trust me. Been there. Done that. God won't leave you. He won't leave you. He loves you. And I promise you, if you just give God another try, if you just say, you know what? I ain't got nothing else to lose. Let me trust him at his word tonight. Mm -hmm. And you let go and tell God, God, I trust wow. you. Wow. I believe you and I expect the rescue in the name of Jesus wow. according to your word, Lord. Mm -hmm. It is so, it is done and I believe it in Jesus name. And every time the enemy tries to throw down in there, you speak out of your mouth. Uh-uh. God is rescuing me. He said, I am blessed. I am not cursed. Glory be to God. I am blessed. I am well. Hallelujah. And what he has for me is greater than what has been. My goodness. And you trust God tonight and you believe him for that tonight. And I believe you're going to see a change. I believe your hope is going to take you to places you've not seen yet. Amen. You're going to start hoping for stuff you didn't even think you would ever hope again for. Amen. And so I want to encourage you tonight to do that. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> <laughs>
That's my way of trying to stop. <laughs> Hallelujah, but I feel the power of God. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. He just, I, you know, I feel like it's some kind of love letter tonight. Ooh, I just feel good. like it's a love letter from God tonight. That's good. That's good. You know, that somebody needs to hear no matter, and this is what it says, no matter what mm. is going on right now, I love you. Mm. I have not left you. Mm. I have not left you. Mm. I am still yet with you. And I love you more then you can actually comprehend. Trust me. Mm. It will not be like this always. Mm. Yeah. I have been there where I thought things would never change. Mm. I've been broke and didn't like it. And I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, con, I'm just like, I'm, what is that word called? I'm allergic to being broke. <laughs> so I said, why is it taking so long? Jesus. Right. Mm. When you go through loss and you go through those valley times and you want it to come fast, but you got to trust he's not going to leave you there. He's not going to leave you there. He's waiting. There's a maturing process. There's some purging that sometimes happen in those seasons. But just know it's not going to stay the same always. God is faithful, y'all. He, he is faithful. He is faithful. He is faithful. He is faithful. And I just pray tonight that you receive that in Jesus' name. That you receive that no matter what. He's faithful. He is a faithful God. Amen. Mm. Amen. Yeah, that's powerful. Hallelujah. <sighs> Hallelujah. Wow. Hallelujah. You know, the Spirit of the Lord is... Yeah, go ahead. No, yeah. I'm good. I'm Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> My God. My God. I don't know if y'all could Bless sense, you. I don't know if you can sense the presence of the Lord Bless you, Jesus. wherever you are, but he is surely here in this room where we are right now. And yes. I believe that the spirit of the Lord is also yes. with you. Glory. And as he is ministering to your heart, whatever he's telling you, hold on to it. Whatever he's writing on your heart right yes. now, trust in it, believe in it. Whatever the Holy Spirit is affirming or reaffirming, yes, whatever he's confirming, whatever he's saying to you, take that and run with it. Let that be your hope today. Because God is clearly moving and has used Pastor Angela to minister grace and love in such a powerful, powerful, Bless powerful, Jesus. powerful way. Bless and tonight we, we, we have to end right here in this moment. Glory to God. Because for this is the kingdom of God. For a time like this yeah. is why Christ came. When hearts are touched, souls are saved, lives are changed. If you are watching this program tonight and this word, or whenever you see this program you, and this word touches your heart, this the spirit of the living God moves upon you and Christ is not your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. I want you to take this very yes. moment yes. in his very presence and receive Christ Jesus yeah. as your own. Yeah. Maybe now you are saved, but you're backslidden. You gave up on God My because goodness. you felt like God gave up on you. Tonight yeah. is the night to change that narrative. Yeah. God has not given up on you. Yeah. He has come for you. Yeah. He has come to rescue you yeah. all tonight. As Pastor Angela is so spirit-filled and so God-moved, spoken on tonight, that he has come to rescue you. <laughs> and he has said a prophetic word yeah. that he loves you yeah. and that he has come to rescue you on tonight. Mm -hmm. Will you come back to Jesus? Mm -hmm. Will you Come back to your love for God Ooh, tonight. Jesus. Will you trust him and give him just one more chance to show you that he's God? Will you love him again? Will you embrace him again? Will you be his child the way you used to be? Oh, now is that night to make that My decision. Goodness. Will you do that in your heart right My now? Goodness. Because he loves you. My he goodness. has come to rescue yes, you. Yes, glory to God. I see you received him. My I could tell God, you receive him. I sense you receive mm. him in the name of Jesus. Mm. Thank you for receiving him mm. afresh and anew in your heart. And thank you for trusting mm. God who loves you mm. 
more than you know. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son for you, for me, for all of us who would receive him on tonight. Yes. This is all the time we have tonight. We're surely not out of word. We'll pick up from this same text on next week. But listen, if you love God, hold on to him. Trust him. He is there for you. If this word is time, if this time has been a blessing, will you go to newdirectionchurches.org and sow your seed of faith, your seed of hope, your seed of confidence, your seat of trust in the Lord. Just think, a few more minutes for you to go onto that website and sow that seed of faith. Mm. It's almost like if you were watching for a few more moments, if you will go in the spirit of, of the Holy Ghost yeah. and in the spirit of love and sow your seed offering on tonight, Amen. the Lord is pleased with your obedience. Amen. It's been wonderful. It's been amazing. On behalf of, of course, my, my co-founder, co-partner, Amen. Pastor Angela and the New Direction Church family, mm -hmm. all of us, mm -hmm. we love you. God yes. bless you. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Yes. And hopefully we'll tune in again on Sunday or next Wednesday. God bless you. God it's been great. You. We love you. Love y'all. What a word. My, my, my. What a time in the world. Powerful.